Oh, just wanted to do this little video. Sorry about the uh, shakiness, a bit impromptu. Um, really, to really about uh, Yu Jung Yoon or Yoon Yu Jung, who recently, who recently um, won the Best Supporting Actress award at BAFTA. Uh, we'll have to see whether that actually uh, continues or goes towards Oscars. Um, but I'm really happy, and also. I'm not happy because I just uploaded a video and a couple of days ago, uh, literally the night of the BAFTAs and, um, oh, this sun is terrible. Oh, that's better. Um, I'll have to walk, I'll have to walk. I need to go somewhere. I'm actually in Koreatown where I currently live. And um, just turn around. And the back streets, or it's behind New Malden High Street. And. Basically, I was really proud and um, I was happy, but not just because, as I say, I've got loads of views. Um, I, I put this video up, which was essentially me just recording what she said at the BAFTAs, which was quite funny and not funny offensive. I actually got lots of um, comments from Koreans, um, mostly Koreans, of course. Well, I say, of course, she's pretty well known now, but um, concerning, you know, did they take her snobbish remark offensively or personally um, I mean they didn't and uh, you know and she made a couple of mistakes and you know it was actually funny with it I mean she said something about the about Prince Philip passing away but I mean that's in this country the royal family probably 50 50 whether you actually agree with them or not especially with him and his his uh, remarks and racism but um, what I will say is that part of the reason for uploading that video this is terrible i'm sorry is because um i wanted to uh basically trying to cross a very easy road here but um i really wanted to just say that i, I posted that video because for koreans really I, I mean i went to bed i went to sleep and when i woke up it had seven almost seven thousand it's got over seven thousand now um views and i didn't expect that but it wasn't to get more views on my channel. Oh, a couple of new subscribers will be okay. You don't get that many new subscribers if you just randomly post a big video. I think the last time it happened with me, I got 30,000 really quickly, it was when Ban Ki-moon came to London and uh, controversially, my friend is an activist, as am I, with certain things Korean, um, stepped out with a placard to, say, to talk about to mention comfort women because he wasn't doing anything about comfort women um, so uh, yeah no I'm really proud really happy for her she's such a good actress she's been in so many Korean films now fair enough Minari which is the film this is relating to it's um it's not technically a Korean film yes it's got Korean actors it's got Mir Korean American actresses but she's Korean actress but you know I'm really I'm not as excited perhaps as last year when it was um, God, I'm going to have to change this light. I'm really sorry. I'm trying to do this on the way somewhere. I'm actually going to visit my family first time in about six six months. And, um, yeah, I, I, I mean, not as proud as I was probably last year with uh, Bong Joon-ho winning Parasite. I had by then seen Parasite a few times in the cinema. I think I'd seen both the colour version and the black and white of press screening. You can see some videos on my channel if you want regarding Parasite and Bong Joon-ho. So I've met up with him and well, so I met him very briefly, but... Um, yeah, so it's kind of, um, you know, it's, it feels like it's 2020 BAFTA slash Oscar time again because, you know, we've got Minari this time. It could be twice. We've got, you know, we've got awards going from BAFTAs and Oscars two years consecutive relating to Korean films or Korean related films. I've yet to see Minari. Of course, there have been chances. I've been offered people whether I want to be offered or not, people offer me, you know, links to screen screenings of it, and I decided, you know, I don't want to. Well, I don't. I don't do that. I don't do illegal screenings. And it, have, it was. It did premiere. Minari did premiere it at. Um, let's turn it around again. Um, Edinburgh F International Film Festival. Um, I could have paid to see it then. 
I didn't. It's come. It's now available on many online platforms. You can rent it. I'd probably buy it on iTunes. It's now available on iTunes to rent, but I haven't actually rented it yet. So um, yeah. Um, so I'm really happy. I'm really proud for Korea again. I mean, last year they had Parasite. They had the coronavirus. The, the way they tackled it. Although now you know, it's come to bite them back on the bum again. I guess as it has with Thailand and some other countries. And if we're not careful, the UK as well. So really good for um, for Yoon Yoon Jung Yong, Jai Yong's Jai, God, Yoo Jung Yoo Jung Yong. I should know. I mean, I've seen, been seeing her films for like ten years. I should really know how to pronounce it. But I'm also trying to take into account that Koreans might watch this and the non-Koreans. Hence, the the word the surname is always at the beginning Yoon, which is her surname. So it's the other way around. Um, so Yajung is her first name or Yajung. And that's it, I'm just gonna leave it there as a quick one while I'm on the way to the train station. And really happy for all you Koreans out there and basically happy for, you know, multiculturalism, I suppose, and also fairness in, let's say, an unfair Oscar past. I'm really sorry, this is uh, so dark. I just don't wanna walk backwards and I've gotta get somewhere. So that's it, I'm gonna leave it at that. Really sorry about the quality of this video. I just couldn't wait to say, something about her win and the video I posted I'll try and leave a link for this video for that video um, under this video that's it all the best take care everyone see ya